In this video, we are going to see the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Adobe Bridge. And uh, first of all, you need to go to search and you need to type NVIDIA in the search bar. Once you are done, you will see the following options. And first of all, we need to dive straight into the NVIDIA GeForce experience. Once you are right inside the NVIDIA GeForce experience, as you can see, I can see the Adobe Bridge on my home section of the NVIDIA GeForce experience. We will come to that later on, but we are gonna first dive straight into the drivers. Once you are right inside the drivers, you need to click on these three vertical dots or the options button and you need to select the studio driver you might have game ready driver or studio driver or in some cases you might only see the game ready driver it is fine you can go with game ready driver if you are unable to see the studio driver but for the optimal optimization and optimal performance you need to select the studio driver once you do so you need to download and install the nvidia studio driver for the geforce experience and make sure you have the latest version of the nvidia studio driver in order to do that you can click on check for updates and if you do so you will have the message is that you have the latest NVIDIA Studio Driver installed on your PC. So once you're done, you need to go back to the home and click on the Adobe Bridge icon on the home section of the NVIDIA GeForce Experience and it will show you that it is optimal and it is using software rendering. So we do not need the software rendering, we need the hardware acceleration. So in order to fix that, let us go right inside the NVIDIA control panel. In order to do this, you need to go again to the search and you need to type NVIDIA. You will have the following options and now you need to select the NVIDIA control panel. Alright fellas, so once you are right inside the NVIDIA control panel, you need to first of all go to configure surround physics and you need to select your GPU as a processor of the physics settings. It is currently GTX 1660 Ti so I will select this one, I will, I will not select the CPU or auto select. Alright, so next you need to go to adjust image settings with preview and you need to make sure use the advanced 3D image settings is enabled and you are done now we will go to the manage 3d settings this is the most important settings and you need to make sure to watch this video very carefully so now you need to go to the program settings we are not going to apply it in the global settings but in the program settings it is very important you need to make sure you select this option show only programs found on this computer otherwise you will have difficulty finding the right application to apply the gpu settings from the drop down you need to select the adobe bridge cc if you are unable to find this you can simply add the program in this list you need to click on add and once you do so you need to click on browse and I will show you the default location of the Adobe applications you need to go to this PC local disk C program files Adobe and this is the Adobe bridge 2022 and you need to scroll down until you see the Adobe application type this is the .exe file and you need to open this and it will be automatically loaded into the program to customize the GPU alright so for the image scaling you need to click on on and make sure it is at the 50% do not go with 100% because it will make the noise in your photos and that's it you need to click on ok for the any stropping filtering you need to go with 16x if you are facing too much lag in your application or a bridge you can go with 8x but for now 16x is fine for anti-aliasing fx AA, you need to make sure it is on for gamma correction you need to make sure also it is on for anti-aliasing mode make sure override any application settings and uh, the settings should be 8x for anti-aliasing transparency you need to go with 8x super sample you don't need to set the max frame rate it is for the monitors but this uh, option is very important CUDA GPUs you need to make sure use these GPUs is selected and also select the NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti this is my graphics card you can select your graphics card as you have and click on ok now for the low latency mode you need to make sure it is on for the max frame rate click on and keep it at its maximum and click on ok you can leave the monitor technology but for the multi frame sampled AAMFAA you need to make sure it is on for the OpenGL GDA compatibility you need to select the performance and for the OpenGL rendering GPU you need to select your GPU as I have GTX 1660 Ti so these two settings are recently launched in the NVIDIA control panel and these are very important to optimize the performance of the creative apps for the power management mode you need to select prefer maximum performance for texture filtering it should be on for texture filtering negative LOD bias it should be clamp for texture filtering quality it should be selected as the high performance for trilinear optimization it should be on for third optimization it should be on 
for triple buffering you need to select on for vertical sync if you are editing videos but we don't need to edit the videos in the top bridge so we can ignore this setting and this is the very important Vulkan or OpenGL you need to select this as auto because we are I have tested it and it works very well so these are the settings that you need to apply in, in the NVIDIA control panel to optimize the performance of the Adobe bridge and once you are done you need to click on apply and once you do so your Adobe bridge has been successfully optimized and customized properly to use the GPU while you are editing or working in right inside the Adobe bridge so last but not the least is we need to dive straight into the Adobe bridge and apply the GPU acceleration settings alright fellas so as you can see I'm right inside my Adobe bridge and first of all in order to optimize the GPU acceleration settings for the Adobe bridge you need to go to edit and you need to go to the camera raw preferences once you're right inside you need to go to the performance and uh, you need to select use graphics processor as custom do not go with auto or off we need to select the GPU to render the images of the videos or the photos in the Adobe bridge you need to go to customize you need to select your GPU and you need to select use GPUs for open and save and it will display the GPU I have GTX 1660 Ti so it will display that full graphics acceleration is enabled make sure you see this option and once you are done you need to click on ok again you need to go to edit and you need to go to preferences once you are right inside make sure you software rendering option is not selected it will use the software while you are encoding or decoding so as you can see disables the GPU acceleration for the preview we don't need that do not select this option and you are good to go and you need to click on ok and now you can enjoy your management of creator apps in the Adobe bridge and that's it I hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below I will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video and see you soon in my next video take care have a nice day hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below I will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video and see you soon in my next video take care have a nice day hope you like this video if you have any questions you can comment down below I will try my best to respond to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching this video and see you soon in my next video take care have a nice day